In classical mechanics, a harmonic oscillator is a system that, when displaced from its equilibrium position, experiences a restoring force F proportional to the displacement x F equals minus k x display style vec f equals k vec x where k is a positive constant if f is the only force acting on the system the system is called a simple harmonic oscillator and it undergoes simple harmonic motion sinusoidal oscillations about the equilibrium point with a constant amplitude and a constant frequency which does not depend on the amplitude if a frictional force damping proportional to the velocity is also present, the harmonic oscillator is described as a damped oscillator. Depending on the friction coefficient, the system can oscillate with a frequency lower than in the undamped case, and an amplitude decreasing with time undamped oscillator. Decay to the equilibrium position, without oscillations overdamped oscillator, the boundary solution between an underdamped oscillator and an overdamped oscillator occurs at a particular value of the friction coefficient and is called critically damped. If an external time-dependent force is present, the harmonic oscillator is described as a driven oscillator. Mechanical examples include pendulums with small angles of displacement, masses connected to springs, and acoustical systems. Other analogous systems include electrical harmonic oscillators such as RLC circuits. The harmonic oscillator model is very important in physics, because any mass subject to a force in stable equilibrium acts as a harmonic oscillator for small vibrations. Harmonic oscillators occur widely in nature and are exploited in many man-made devices, such as clocks and radio circuits. They are the source of virtually all sinusoidal vibrations and waves. Topic. Simple harmonic oscillator A simple harmonic oscillator is an oscillator that is neither driven nor damped. It consists of a mass m, which experiences a single force f, which pulls the mass in the direction of the point x equals zero and depends only on the mass's position x and a constant k. Balance of forces Newton's second law for the system is f equals m a equals m d 2 x d t 2 equals m x equals minus k x Display style f equals ma equals m frac mathrm d caret 2 x mathrm d t caret 2 equals m d d o t x equals k x. Solving this differential equation, we find that the motion is described by the function x t equals a cos omega t plus phi. Display style x t equals a cos omega t plus varphi, where omega equals k m equals two pi t. Display style omega equals sqrt frac k m equals frac two pi t. The motion is periodic, repeating itself in a sinusoidal fashion with constant amplitude a in addition to its amplitude. The motion of a simple harmonic oscillator is characterized by its period t, the time for a single oscillation or its frequency f equals 1, t, the number of cycles per unit time. The position at a given time t also depends on the phase phi, which determines the starting point on the sine wave. The period and frequency are determined by the size of the mass m and the force constant k, while the amplitude and phase are determined by the starting position and velocity. The velocity and acceleration of a simple harmonic oscillator oscillate with the same frequency as the position, but with shifted phases. The velocity is maximal for zero displacement, while the acceleration is in the direction opposite to the displacement. The potential energy stored in a simple harmonic oscillator at position x is U equals one two K X two Display style U equals FRAC one two K X carrot two
Topic: <laughs> Damped harmonic oscillator. In real oscillators, friction or damping slows the motion of the system. Due to frictional force, the velocity decreases in proportion to the acting frictional force. While in a simple undriven harmonic oscillator the only force acting on the mass is the restoring force, in a damped harmonic oscillator there is in addition a frictional force which is always in a direction to oppose the motion. In many vibrating systems the frictional force FF can be modeled as being proportional to the velocity V of the object, FF equals minus CV, where C is called the viscous damping coefficient. The balance of forces Newton's second law for damped harmonic oscillators is then F equals F x minus K x minus C D x D T equals M D 2 x D T 2 Display style f equals f underscore text x k x c frac mathrm d x mathrm d t equals m frac mathrm d caret two x mathrm d t caret two. When no external forces are present, i.e., when f x equals zero. Display style f underscore text x equals zero. This can be rewritten into the form d two x d t two plus two zeta omega zero d x d t plus omega zero two x equals zero Display style FRAC Mathem D carrot two x Mathem D T carrot two plus two Zeta Omega underscore zero FRAC Mathem D x Mathem D T plus Omega underscore zero carrot two x equals zero where Omega zero equals K M Display style omega underscore zero equals sqrt frac k m is called the undamped angular frequency of the oscillator. Zeta equals c two meters k. Display style zeta equals frac c two sqrt m k is called the damping ratio. The value of the damping ratio zeta critically determines the behavior of the system. A damped harmonic oscillator can be overdamped zeta greater than 1 the system returns exponentially decays to steady state without oscillating larger values of the damping ratio zeta return to equilibrium more slowly critically damped zeta equals 1 the system returns to steady state as quickly as possible without oscillating although overshoot can occur this is often desired for the damping of systems such as doors Underdamped zeta omega one equals omega o one minus zeta two. Display style omega underscore one equals omega underscore zero sqrt one zeta caret two. The exponential decay of the underdamped harmonic oscillator is given by lambda equals omega zero zeta. Display style lambda equals omega underscore zero zeta. The Q factor of a damped oscillator is defined as Q equals two pi times energy stored energy lost per cycle. Display style Q equals two pi times frac text energy stored text energy lost per cycle q is related to the damping ratio by the equation q equals 1 2 zeta display style q equals frac 1 2 zeta topic driven harmonic oscillators Driven harmonic oscillators are damped oscillators further affected by an externally applied force F T. Newton's second law takes the form F T minus K X minus C D X D T equals M D two 
x d t 2 display style ft kxc frac mathrm dx mathrm dt equals m frac mathrm d caret 2 x mathrm dt caret 2 it is usually rewritten into the form d 2 x d t 2 plus 2 zeta omega 0 d x d t plus omega 0 2 x equals f t m Display style frac mathrm d caret 2 x mathrm d t caret 2 plus 2 zeta omega underscore 0 frac mathrm d x mathrm d t plus omega underscore 0 caret 2 x equals frac f t m. This equation can be solved exactly for any driving force using the solutions z t that satisfied the unforced equation d 2 Z D T two plus two Zeta Omega zero D Z D T plus Omega zero two Z equals zero Display style frac mathrm d caret 2 z mathrm d t caret 2 plus 2 zeta omega underscore 0 frac mathrm d z mathrm d t plus omega underscore 0 caret 2 z equals 0, and which can be expressed as damped sinusoidal oscillations. Z t equals a e minus Zeta Omega zero T sin one minus Zeta two Omega zero T plus Phi Display style z t equals a mathrm e caret zeta omega underscore zero t sin left sqrt one zeta caret two omega underscore zero t plus var phi right. In the case where zeta one, the amplitude a and phase phi determine the behavior needed to match the initial conditions. Topic step input in the case zeta f t m equals omega o two t o o t zero display style frac f t m equals begin cases omega underscore zero caret two and t g e q zero zero and t the solution is x t equals one minus e minus zeta omega zero t sin one minus zeta two omega zero t plus Phi sin phi display style x t equals one mathrm e caret zeta omega underscore zero t frac sin left sqrt one zeta caret two omega underscore zero t plus var phi right sin var phi with phase phi given by cos phi equals zeta display style cos var phi equals zeta the time an oscillator needs to adapt to changed external conditions is of the order tau equals 1, zo 0. In physics, the adaptation is called relaxation, and tau is called the relaxation time. In electrical engineering, a multiple of tau is called the settling time, i.e. the time necessary to ensure the signal is within a fixed departure from final value, typically within 10%. The term overshoot refers to the extent the response maximum exceeds final value, and undershoot refers to the extent the response falls below final value for times following the response maximum. Topic: <laughs> Sinusoidal driving force. In the case of a sinusoidal driving force, d two x d T two 
plus two zeta omega zero d x d t plus omega zero two x equals one m f zero sin omega t Display style FRAC Mathem D carrot two x Mathem D T carrot two plus two Zeta Omega underscore zero FRAC Mathem D x Mathem D T plus Omega underscore zero carrot two x equals FRAC one M F underscore zero sin Omega T where F zero Display style F underscore zero is the driving amplitude and Omega display style Omega is the driving frequency for a sinusoidal driving mechanism this type of system appears in AC driven RLC circuits resistor inductor capacitor and driven spring systems having internal mechanical resistance or external air resistance the general solution is a sum of a transient solution that depends on initial conditions, and a steady state that is independent of initial conditions and depends only on the driving amplitude. F 0 Driving frequency Omega Undamped angular frequency Omega 0 Display style omega underscore zero, and the damping ratio zeta. Display style zeta. The steady state solution is proportional to the driving force with an induced phase change. Phi. Display style var phi. X t equals f zero m z m Omega sin Omega T plus Phi display style X T equals frac F underscore 0 MZ underscore M Omega sin Omega T plus var phi where Z M equals 2 Omega 0 Zeta 2 plus 1 omega 2 omega 0 2 minus omega 2 2 Display style z underscore m equals sqrt left two omega underscore zero zeta right caret two plus frac one omega caret two omega underscore zero caret two omega caret two caret two is the absolute value of the impedance or linear response function and phi equals arctan two omega omega zero Zeta Omega two minus Omega zero two plus N Pi Display style Varfi equals Arctan left FRAC two Omega Omega underscore zero Zeta Omega carrot two Omega underscore zero carrot two right plus N Pi is the phase of the oscillation relative to the driving force. The phase value is usually taken to be between minus 180 degrees and zero that is, it represents a phase lag, for both positive and negative values of the arctan argument. For a particular driving frequency called the resonance, or resonant frequency, omega r equals omega 0 1 minus 2 zeta 2 Display style omega underscore r equals omega underscore zero sqrt one to two zeta caret two. The amplitude for a given f zero display style f underscore zero is maximal. This resonance effect only occurs when zeta one half display style zeta, i.e., for significantly underdamped systems. 
For strongly underdamped systems the value of the amplitude can become quite large near the resonant frequency. The transient solutions are the same as the unforced f0 equals 0 display style f underscore 0 equals 0 damped harmonic oscillator and represent the system's response to other events that occurred previously. The transient solutions typically die out rapidly enough that they can be ignored. Topic: Parametric oscillators. A parametric oscillator is a driven harmonic oscillator in which the drive energy is provided by varying the parameters of the oscillator, such as the damping or restoring force. A familiar example of parametric oscillation is pumping on a playground swing. A person on a moving swing can increase the amplitude of the swing's oscillations without any external drive force pushes being applied, by changing the moment of inertia of the swing by rocking back and forth. Pumping or alternately standing and squatting, in rhythm with the swing's oscillations. The varying of the parameters drives the system. Examples of parameters that may be varied are its resonance frequency omega, display style omega, and damping beta, display style beta. Parametric oscillators are used in many applications. The classical Varactor parametric oscillator oscillates when the diode's capacitance is varied periodically. The circuit that varies the diode's capacitance is called the pump or driver. In microwave electronics, waveguide, YAG based parametric oscillators operate in the same fashion. The designer varies a parameter periodically to induce oscillations. Parametric oscillators have been developed as low noise amplifiers, especially in the radio and microwave frequency range. Thermal noise is minimal, since a reactance not a resistance is varied. Another common use is frequency conversion, e.g., conversion from audio to radio frequencies. For example, the optical parametric oscillator converts an input laser wave into two output waves of lower frequency. Omega S Omega I display style omega underscore s omega underscore I parametric resonance occurs in a mechanical system when a system is parametrically excited and oscillates at one of its resonant frequencies. Parametric excitation differs from forcing, since the action appears as a time-varying modification on a system parameter. This effect is different from regular resonance because it exhibits the instability phenomenon. Topic. Universal oscillator equation The equation d 2 q d tau 2 plus 2 zeta d q d tau plus q equals Zero. Display style frac mathrm d caret two q mathrm d tau caret two plus two zeta frac mathrm d q mathrm d tau plus q equals zero is known as the universal oscillator equation, since all second-order linear oscillatory systems can be reduced to this form. This is done through non-dimensionalization. If the forcing function is f t. Topic cos omega t cos omega t c tau. Topic cos oat where omega omega t c. The equation becomes d two q d tau two plus Two zeta d q d tau plus q equals cos omega tau Display style frac mathrm d caret two q mathrm d tau caret two plus two zeta frac mathrm d q mathrm d tau plus q equals cos omega tau 
The solution to this differential equation contains two parts, the transient and the steady state. Topic: <laughs> Transient solution. The solution based on solving the ordinary differential equation is for arbitrary constants c1 and c2. Q T tau equals e minus zeta tau c 1 e tau zeta 2 minus 1 plus c 2 e minus tau zeta 2 minus 1 Zeta greater than one over damping E minus Zeta Tau C one plus C two Tau equals E minus Tau C one plus C Two Tau Zeta equals one critical damping E minus Zeta Tau C one cos one minus Zeta two Tau plus C two sin one minus Zeta two Tau Zeta one underdamping display style Q underscore T Tau equals begin cases mathem E carrot Zeta Tau left C underscore one mathem E carrot Tau sqrt Zeta carrot two minus one plus C underscore two mathem E carrot Tau sqrt Zeta carrot two minus one right and Zeta greater than one text over damping mathem E carrot Zeta Tau C underscore one plus C underscore two Tau equals Mathem E carrot Tau C underscore one plus C underscore two Tau and Zeta equals one text critical damping Mathem E carrot Zeta Tau left C underscore one cos left SQRT one Zeta carrot two Tau right plus C underscore two sin left SQRT one Zeta carrot two Tau right right and Zeta the transient solution is independent of the forcing function. Topic: Steady state solution. Apply the complex variables method by solving the auxiliary equation below and then finding the real part of its solution. D two Q D tau two plus two zeta D Q D Tau plus Q equals cos omega tau plus I sin omega tau equals E I omega tau Display style FRAC Mathem D carrot two Q Mathem D Tau carrot two plus two Zeta FRAC Mathem D Q Mathem D Tau plus Q equals cos Omega Tau plus Mathem I sin Omega Tau equals Mathem E carrot Mathem I Omega Tau. Supposing the solution is of the form Q S Tau equals A E I Omega Tau plus Phi Display style Q underscore S Tau equals A Mathem E carrot Mathem I Omega Tau plus Varfi. Its derivatives from zeroth to second order are Q S equals A E I Omega Tau plus phi d q s d tau equals i omega 
a e i omega tau plus phi d 2 q s d tau 2 equals minus omega 2 a e i omega tau plus phi Display style q underscore s equals a mathrm e caret mathrm i omega tau plus varphi quad frac mathrm d q underscore s mathrm d tau equals mathrm i omega a mathrm e caret mathrm i omega tau plus varphi quad frac mathrm d caret two q underscore s mathrm d tau caret two equals omega caret two a mathrm e caret mathrm i omega tau plus varphi Substituting these quantities into the differential equation gives minus omega two a e i omega tau plus phi plus two zeta i omega a e i omega tau plus phi plus a e i omega tau plus phi equals minus omega 2 a plus 2 zeta i omega plus a e i omega tau plus phi equals e i omega tau Display style omega carrot two a mathem e carrot mathem i omega tau plus var phi plus two zeta mathem i omega a mathem e carrot mathem i omega tau plus var phi plus a mathem e carrot mathem i omega tau plus var phi equals omega carrot two a plus two zeta mathem i omega a plus a mathem e carrot mathem i omega tau plus var phi equals mathem e carrot mathem i omega tau Dividing by the exponential term on the left results in minus omega two a plus two zeta i omega a plus a equals e minus i phi equals cos phi minus i sin phi display style omega caret 2 a plus 2 zeta mathrm i omega a plus a equals mathrm e caret mathrm i var phi equals cos var phi mathrm i sin var phi equating the real and imaginary parts results in two independent equations a 1 minus omega 2 equals Cos phi two zeta omega i equals minus sin phi display style a one omega caret two equals cos var phi quad two zeta omega a equals sin var phi Topic amplitude part squaring both equations and adding them together gives a two one minus omega two two equals cos two phi two zeta omega a two equals sin two phi a two one minus omega two two plus two zeta omega two equals one. Display style left begin aligned a carrot two one omega carrot two carrot two and equals cos carrot two var phi two zeta omega a carrot two and equals sin carrot two var phi end aligned right right arrow a carrot two one omega carrot two carrot two plus two zeta omega carrot two equals one. Therefore, a equals a 
zeta omega equals sine minus sin phi 2 zeta omega 1 1 minus omega 2 2 plus 2 zeta omega 2 Display style a equals a zeta omega equals operator name sine left frac sin var phi two zeta omega right frac one sqrt one omega caret two caret two plus two zeta omega caret two. Compare this result with the theory section on resonance, as well as the magnitude part of the RLC circuit. This amplitude function is particularly important in the analysis and understanding of the frequency response of second order systems. Topic: <laughs> phase part. To solve for phi, divide both equations to get tan phi equals minus 2 zeta omega 1 minus omega 2 equals 2 zeta omega omega 2 minus 1 phi phi zeta omega equals arctan 2 zeta omega omega 2 minus 1 plus n pi Display style tan var phi equals frac 2 zeta omega 1 omega caret 2 equals frac 2 zeta omega omega caret 2 minus 1 right arrow var phi equiv var phi zeta omega equals arctan left frac 2 zeta omega omega caret 2 minus 1 right plus n pi. This phase function is particularly important in the analysis and understanding of the frequency response of second order systems. Topic. Full solution Combining the amplitude and phase portions results in the steady state solution Q S tau equals a zeta omega cos omega tau plus phi zeta omega equals Cos omega tau plus phi display style q underscore s tau equals a zeta omega cos omega tau plus var phi zeta omega equals a cos omega tau plus var phi. The solution of original universal oscillator equation is a superposition sum of the transient and steady state solutions. Q tau equals Q T tau plus Q S tau display style Q tau equals Q underscore T tau plus Q underscore S tau. For a more complete description of how to solve the above equation, see linear odes with constant coefficients. Topic: Equivalent systems. Harmonic oscillators occurring in a number of areas of engineering are equivalent in the sense that their mathematical models are identical see universal oscillator equation above. Below is a table showing analogous quantities in four harmonic oscillator systems in mechanics and electronics. If analogous parameters on the same line in the table are given numerically equal values, the behavior of the oscillators, their output waveform, resonant frequency, damping factor, etc. are the same. Topic. Application to a conservative force 
The problem of the simple harmonic oscillator occurs frequently in physics, because a mass at equilibrium under the influence of any conservative force, in the limit of small motions, behaves as a simple harmonic oscillator. A conservative force is one that is associated with a potential energy. The potential energy function of a harmonic oscillator is V x equals 1 2 k x 2 display style v x equals frac 1 2 k x caret 2 given an arbitrary potential energy function v x display style v x one can do a taylor expansion in terms of x display style x around an energy minimum x equals x 0 display style x equals x underscore 0 to model the behavior of small perturbations from equilibrium v x equals v x 0 plus v x 0 x minus x 0 plus 1 2 v 2 x 0 x minus x 0 2 plus o x minus x 0 3 Display style v x equals v x underscore zero plus v x underscore zero c d o t x x underscore zero plus frac one two v caret two x underscore zero c d o t x x underscore zero caret two plus o x x underscore zero caret three. Because v x zero display style v x underscore zero is a minimum the first derivative evaluated at x 0 display style x underscore 0 must be 0 so the linear term drops out v x equals v x 0 plus 1 2 v 2 x 0 x minus x 0 2 plus o x minus x 0 3 Display style v x equals v x underscore zero plus frac one two v caret two x underscore zero c d o t x x underscore zero caret two plus o x x underscore zero caret three. The constant term v x zero is arbitrary and thus may be dropped, and a coordinate transformation allows the form of the simple harmonic oscillator to be retrieved. V x approximately equals 1 2 v 2 0 x 2 equals 1 2 k x 2 Display style v x approximately frac 1 2 v caret 2 0 c d o t x caret 2 equals frac 1 2 k x caret 2. Thus, given an arbitrary potential energy function v x display style v x with a non-vanishing second derivative, one can use the solution to the simple harmonic oscillator to provide an approximate solution for small perturbations around the equilibrium point. Topic: Examples. Topic: Simple pendulum. Assuming no damping, the differential equation governing a simple pendulum of length L, L where 
g display style g is the local acceleration of gravity is d 2 theta d t 2 plus g l sin theta equals 0 display style frac d caret 2 theta dt caret 2 plus frac g l sin theta equals 0 if the maximal displacement of the pendulum is small we can use the approximation sin theta approximately equals theta display style sin theta approximately theta and instead consider the equation d 2 theta d t 2 plus g l theta equals 0 display style frac d caret 2 theta dt caret 2 plus frac g l theta equals 0 the solution to this equation is given by theta t equals theta 0 cuz g l t display style theta t equals theta underscore 0 cuz left sqrt frac g l t right where theta 0 display style theta underscore 0 is the largest angle attained by the pendulum the period the time for one complete oscillation is given by the expression t 0 equals 2 pi l g display style t underscore 0 equals 2 pi sqrt frac l g which is a good approximation of the actual period when theta 0 display style theta underscore 0 is small topic spring mass system when a spring is stretched or compressed by a mass the spring develops a restoring force Hooke's law gives the relationship of the force exerted by the spring when the spring is compressed or stretched a certain length F T equals minus K X T display style F T equals K X T where F is the force K is the spring constant and X is the displacement of the mass with respect to the equilibrium position the minus sign in the equation indicates that the force exerted by the spring always acts in a direction that is opposite to the displacement i.e. the force always acts towards the zero position, and so prevents the mass from flying off to infinity. By using either force balance or an energy method, it can be readily shown that the motion of this system is given by the following differential equation F T equals minus K x t equals m d 2 d t 2 x t equals m a Display style F T equals K X T equals M F R A C Mathem D carrot two Mathem D T carrot two X T equals ma the latter being Newton's second law of motion. If the initial displacement is A, and there is no initial velocity, the solution of this equation is given by x t equals a cos k m t display style x t equals a cos left sqrt frac k m t right given an ideal massless spring m display style m is the mass on the end of the spring if the spring itself has mass its effective mass must be included in m display style m topic 
Energy variation in the spring damping system In terms of energy, all systems have two types of energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. When a spring is stretched or compressed, it stores elastic potential energy, which then is transferred into kinetic energy. The potential energy within a spring is determined by the equation U equals K x 2 2 U equals K x 2 2 when the spring is stretched or compressed, kinetic energy of the mass gets converted into potential energy of the spring. By conservation of energy, assuming the datum is defined at the equilibrium position, when the spring reaches its maximal potential energy, the kinetic energy of the mass is zero. When the spring is released, it tries to return to equilibrium, and all its potential energy converts to kinetic energy of the mass. Definition of terms See also Anharmonic oscillator Critical speed Effective mass spring mass system Normal mode Parametric oscillator Phaser Q factor Quantum harmonic oscillator Radial harmonic oscillator Spring pendulum Notes <laughs>